So this is the dust shoe I made for my Inventables X-Carb CNC router. If you're not familiar with what a dust shoe does, is it picks up the chips using a vacuum that get left behind from your cutting tool as it goes through your material. If you don't have one of these, the chips will go everywhere and they'll end up getting stuck in your rails and in places where you don't really want them to be. So I uh, highly recommend to have some sort of dust shoe. Um, I made this one for the DeWalt 611 router option and uh, it's working flawlessly. This one I made is uh, made out of the 3D printed material PLA and I'll share the file with you if you're interested. Uh, I also had to buy carpet and glue it around the edge here and then cut it out uh, to make the skirt. Now you can use other materials like felt uh, or rubber or pretty much uh, any kind of pliable material should do the job. So to attach it all you have to do is raise the router up all the way and then slide it underneath. A lot of times you can do this even with a bit already in it. And then to attach it, you just use a M3 by 16 socket head screw and tighten it using a hex wrench. Once it's snug, all you need to do is press fit your tube in that goes to the vacuum. So I bought a standard shop vac that you can get at any hardware store. These should have plenty of suction for the dust shoe. So here's an adapter piece that I've mounted to the table where I have my X-Carve. It adapts the tube on the shop vac to another tube that goes all the way to the spindle. That way the shop vac can be taken off at any time. So after that adapter piece, the tube comes up and I zip tied it around this bracket that holds the chain guide. And then the tube goes into the dust chute here and what's nice about it is it's press fit. So it's removable and you can use it to pick up any loose shavings anywhere else and then put it right back without having to remove the dust shoe. And it uses uh, these M3 screws to hold it into that mount. There's actually these threads that aren't being used uh, normally, so um, this screw goes right into it. And if you use an Allen key, you can back it out and then remove it. So here it is in action. You can see it pick up the chips as the spindle moves around.